Okay, today we're going to be doing factoring using the GCF. So, back in middle school, you learned how to distribute, where you would have 4x times 3x squared minus 2x, and you'd simply multiply. You'd have 4 times 3, which is 12. You have x to the first, so 1 plus 2 will give you x to the third. And you do it again, but now with the negative 2x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. x to the first, x to the first, so 1, 2 gives you x squared. Well, factoring using the GCF is the exact opposite of what we just did here. So factoring using the GCF, you want to find a value, the largest value that 25 and 10 share. So I think about what multiplies to give me 25. 1 times 25, 5 times 5. And I think about what multiplies to give me 10. 1 times 10, 2 times 5. I can see the biggest number they share is a 5. So I can factor out a 5. Well, we also have x's. We have 3x's for the first term and 2x's for the second term. They share a total of 2x's, so I can factor out 2x's from the problem. Whatever is left over is simply going to stay in the parentheses. So what I like to, the way I like to do it is 5 times what number gives me 25? 5. I have 3x's, but I had 2 taken out, so I have 1 left over. Then I had a plus sign, 5 times 2 is 10. I took 2x's out, so I have none left over after the 2. And so now I've done GCF factoring. As we look at another example, we have negative 9x squared minus 18. So I think to myself, what numbers multiply to give me 9? 1 times 9, 3 times 3. For 18, I do 1 times 18. 2 times 9, 3 times 6. Then I look for the number that they share, the largest number that they share, which would be the 9s. So I'm going to factor out a 9. Now since our first term has a negative, whatever I factor out needs to be a negative as well. So I'm really factoring out a negative 9. Now for those x's. I've got 2x's in the first term, 1x in the second term. They share 1x. So a single x will come outside the parentheses. So now what's left over? Well, negative 9 times 1 gives me negative 9. I have an x taken out. I had 2 to start with, so I have 1 left over. Negative 9 times positive 2 gives me negative 18. I've taken 1x out. I only had 1 to begin with, so I have none left over after the 2. And now I've done GCF factoring. The work that I'm showing up on the top is something you can do in your head and when you're ready you're more than welcome to do so you don't have to show me all that little work but you do need to get the answer right please take the time to make sure that you're finding the largest number that they share and you remove the largest amount of variables that they share so looking at this one now we've got two variables an x and a y everything's the same as i showed you in the last slide you want to start off by finding the largest value that 24 and 16 share. So I think to myself, okay, 1 times 24 is 24. I have 2 times 12. I've got 3 times 8 and 4 times 6. And 6 times 4, which is the same thing. Well, for the 16, I have 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. And then I look and see what's the largest number that they share. Well, that would be an 8. So I'm going to factor out an 8. Well, the first term has 3x's, and the second term has 1x. They only share 1x, so I can only take 1x out. Then I can see the first term has 2y's, and the second term has 3y's. They only share 2y's, so I can only bring out y squared. Well, 8 times 3 gets me 24, so I have 3 left over. I had 3x's, but I took 1 out, so I have 2x's left over. I took out 2y's, so therefore I have no more y's left over for the first term, and then 8 
times 2 gets me 16. That's why I have a 2 here and an 8 here. It makes the 16. Well, I only had one x here, and I took it out. I had three y's, but I took two of them out. That's why they're here. And that gives me one y left over. And therefore, this is the factored form of that expression. So the next one, once again, we have a 12 and a 9. So figure out the things that multiply to give you 12. So like 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and 4 times 3, which is the same thing. For the 9, we have 1 times 9, 3 times 3, and the largest number that they share is a 3. So I'm going to bring a 3 out. But since our first term was negative, I need to pull out a negative 3 as the GCF. Now I've got some variables. I've got 4x's in the first term and 2x's in the second term. They share two x's, so I'm going to bring out an x squared. Well, I've got two y's in the first term and one y in the second term. They share one y, so I'm going to pull out a y. And so now I got to once again think to myself, negative 3 times what gets me that day of 12? A 4 would. Negative 3 times 4 gives me 12. Negative 12. I have two x's. I started with four, so I have two left over. I have two y's, but I took one out, so I have one left over. And then I have to ask myself, negative three times what would get me nine? Negative three. Negative three times negative three is positive nine. I have two x's for this term, and I took two of them out, so I have no more x's in this position. I have one y, but I took one y out, so I have no y's after the 3. So now I have that expression factored.